going on, everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger, and we are back at you again today with another College Football 25 Ultimate Team video. It's Wednesday, which means we got brand new Stories of the Week cards in the game. We're going to go over that, plus the Game of the Week promo. We got another collectible where you can earn your way towards a free 92 overall. So, my apologies. I didn't really put out any type of video letting you guys know. I mean, a lot of you might follow me over on my main channel, but the lack of videos is due to me being on vacation over the last week. But as you can see, I'm back home and we are ready to get back to work. I know a lot of you probably already saw this, but I do want to throw it up really quickly. Here is the content schedule for this week. So today we got Stories of the Week, which honestly has probably been one of the better promos over the last three or four weeks that we've seen in all of Cut 25. We got a brand new promo coming on Friday, the homecoming promo. That means college kickoff is no longer happening, and it looks like homecoming will be a multiple part promo because it says volume one. And of course, on Sundays, we got legend. So we'll be covering all of that content, plus much, much more now that I'm back home. Let's go ahead and talk about today's drop. Uh, game of the week. Make sure you log in to get your collectible. This is important because these collectibles every week when you log in will give you the choice between two teams. Ultimately, it doesn't really matter who you pick. You are going to get some uniforms and I think one player card from the team that you pick. I don't know how lucky you're going to get if it's going to you know, happen frequently where people might get elites or whatever. But as you can see, we picked Alabama here. So we get their uniforms, their stadium, and we got stuck with a 71 overall uh, left guard. But the main reason that you want to do this is to get this game of the week token. Also, once you open up this pack... Go directly to the 92 overall Game of the Week champion set because you don't want to accidentally quick sell these tokens. Honestly, EA should have had them locked at this point, but they still haven't. So put it into the set right away so you don't accidentally quick sell this one. Collecting all 12 of these, and we are now into week number five, but collecting all 12 of these will give you a free 92 overall, and we're roughly about halfway there. Next week, we'll be halfway there, and hopefully as we lead up to that content drop, that 12th and final welcome pack, We'll eventually find out who that player is going to be. Hopefully it's a player that's currently, you know, playing college football that's having a really good season. And being that we're several weeks away from that, you know, we got a lot of possibilities that could join the list there. I don't know if EA's already made up their mind on exactly who that is, but hopefully we'll find out soon. Now, I know a lot of you already know this, but because I've been gone, I just want to mention in case maybe you are coming back to the game for the first time in a while. Basically, we got three weeks until season two comes to an end and season three goes live. And every single Monday, EA has been adding a bunch of objectives under the milestone tab that you can knock out. There's other things in there. The program weekly, I would assume that with the homecoming promo coming on Friday, we're going to see a homecoming objective get added into here. But I know at this point, if you've been keeping up with your dailies, there's definitely enough XP in the game to claim your free 90 overall Cullen Lacey. I'm still a ways away from doing that, but now that I'm back from vacation, I'm definitely going to get back to the grind of playing this game a little bit more frequently. I played a handful of games, cut champs games before I went on vacation and I had some fun doing it. So we're going to be coming back to this game mode. Madden will still be my primary game there, but I do want to kind of grind out the rest of season two and kind of roll into some uh, roll into season three with some momentum. So that's your game of the week promo. You got collectibles, sorry, you got objectives in there to knock out, to earn you free content in the season two field pass with three weeks ago and because today is Wednesday that also means that we got new stories of the week cards and new pack offers I believe this is the second week in a row now where we've had 89 overall champions and 90 overall LTDs unfortunately we're still going to have this hurdle and I don't really expect it to change all year at this point of the set requirements so your best bet is to buy these cards off the auction house because completing the sets and you can see the requirements here any two 86 overall players and then two 86 to 87 overall field phenom players you put those four cards into the set in return, you're going to get a random 88 or 89 overall field Phenoms champion card. So you do have the potential of getting one of the two new cards that came out today, but it's certainly not guaranteed. It's not a fantasy pack. And to me, the risk versus the reward on doing these sets is just simply not worth it. But that is one way to go out there and try for the 89 overall cards that came out today. We do have that 90 overall LTD and we'll take a look at the pack offers in a moment so it's going to be wide receiver trey harris here who comes in with 90 speed standing at six foot two now his deep route running 
is a bit trash, only at 82, really good short and mid route running, the catch at 88, the catch in traffic 90. I think he makes a perfect slot receiver. You're going to probably deal with some inconsistency on the deep routes there of him getting open. But at the end of the day, we all know that speed kills here. And because he's six foot two with 90 speed, he's going to be a very, very highly desired item. Let's do a quick price check here. And this is almost an hour uh, after the content dropped, maybe a little bit less there. And he's still sitting over a million coins. So pretty rare card. If you happen to open up packs, and we'll show you the pack offers in a moment and get him. Honestly, I'm taking the coins every time. There's so many inexpensive cards in this game mode right now. Unless you're a highly competitive player or you just like to spend a lot of money in this game, I'm taking the coins every single time. So the 289 overall champions, we have right in Josiah Stewart from Michigan, 85 speed, 86 acceleration. I love the strength rating at 89 there, 87 power move, 81 block shed, and 83 finesse move. He looks like one of the best defensive ends in the game. And then the other card is going to be a quarterback. Is he going to be the best budget-friendly quarterback in the game? We got Alonzo Barnett the third. Let's do a quick price check on him to see what he's going for. We got one for 500K and one for a million. Pretty, pretty big difference in the two. And only two up there on the auction house is a little bit troubling. This card is good. And I mean, his play action is terrible but I don't really think that's a big deal. Uh, he's good because he gets the 85 speed, 88 throw power, and then he hits your thresholds of 85 plus. So short 86, mid 85, deep 89. Depending on the price, this could be a pretty good card. And if we see more of these on the auction house and just in the community, all price dependent, of course, this could be the best uh, budget-friendly quarterback that we see in the game. Along with today's content drop, we got a few new 87 overalls. So we got this 87 overall uh, right guard out of Cincinnati, defensive end from TCU, and then the third one is going to be Trey Rucker out of Ohio State, six foot even, 86 speed, 87 zone. Not too bad, but I think a little bit slow, but that could be a decent budget option over there. So we showed you the set. We showed you the cards. Really the only way to get these outside of the pack offers, or excuse me, outside of the auction house is going to be pack offers. These just, to me, have not been worth it. I mean, for a little under $100, you are getting an 88-plus card, but the probability that you get stuck with a card that came out two weeks ago is probably really high, and it just is hard to justify spending that much money on a bundle like this that doesn't guarantee you an 89 overall card. You do get three Field Phenom premium fantasy packs in that $100 bundle as well. You can buy those packs individually for about $40. I just simply don't think one singular pack for $40 is worth it. Really the move every single week and every single time we get new content, if you're going to spend money, is literally just opening up the booster packs here. If you have some bad luck with these, you're just going to be stuck with a lot of B&Ds in your possession, and that's mostly what I have right now. I haven't really started to quick sell any of these cards. Eventually, we'll have to make a decision on exactly what we want to do with the training that we get from all the cards that we're getting from all of these booster packs here uh, but as you can see the volume booster was not very good to me we got an 84 overall strong safety and then a bunch of green cards let's go ahead and open up the second one you can tell ea just kind of figured it out that we're going to be opening up these boosters every single week and now for the last week and a half or so they've been putting two of them in the store every single time around so here is the premium volume booster pack so far we are striking out we get an 85 overall xavier scott 84 overall Aaron Graves still looking for that season two animation and not getting it you do get a lot of cards in this pack I will say that and a lot of the uh, non promo cards are not B and D so we might be able to find some usage to be honest between the free packs and all the booster packs that I've been opening up over the last month or so, I just been letting those go to my binder. Eventually, we're gonna have to drop a video and we'll kind of break it all down on what you should be doing with your binder trash and what you should be doing with your BNDs that ultimately will turn into training. So we'll figure that out very soon. That is the promo, pretty good cards. Once again, bad sets, bad pack offers, but at least the content that we're getting is good. And outside of the LTD, it's not overly expensive so far. So we should have another video tomorrow, and we'll be back Friday, of course, with the first drop of the Homecoming promo. Can't wait to see what they have in store. Thank you guys for watching this one. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.